this is the weekly horoscope for Aquarius for the week of September 4th, 2023. Hello, my airbenders. Show your love and support to your girl Marie by liking, subscribing, and sharing. And thank you for everyone who has. I really appreciate the love energy. I'm also available for readings and um, reports, so you can check that out in the link in the description box below. And it's cut off, but you can still click on it and it'll still take you there. So Monday, well this week, Propensia, which is in your 10th house, is forming a kite energy and also a T-square as well with Venus and your fourth house with um, Taurus. So first, no, fourth, seventh, and tenth house. So for some of you, not the easiest time for love relationships um, with this energy, but uh, Propensia here is the queen of the underworld you know she's the one responsible for the seasons um so she's entering you're entering a stage in the normal development of maturity or you are prepared to take control over your life and make your mark in the world as a distinct individual at this time the effects of this process may be very subtle um and works more on a psychological level those of you in your 30s you're more in touch with the deeper aspects of your personal power and able to understand your motives more for success and more clarity. You may spend time learning your craft or developing your talents and can enhance your sense of self-worth by improving your earning potential. You also appreciate strengths, giving you more confidence in the future. There's a beautiful energy here. You just see things in a different way than everybody else does, which is going to help you with problem solving. You can become, um, you can be coming up with solutions you can be doing very well in crisis situations um, this is a time where you're looking at things um, at a different way which is beneficial for you it's going to bring you financial prosperity as well this could be starting trends on the social media or starting um, trends at work this could also be a great time for those of you in sales or coming up with money ma making ideas at this time you can also find ways to get your way with other people or have a lot of influence over others at this time this can be a transformative time for you this week in regards to career the south node in your ninth house is forming a trine with the twelfth house of Pluto and retrograde, the fifth house with Vesta and Gemini, and the ninth house. Um, for some of you, this could be a move happening. This could be good news in regards to getting licenses, visas, or passports, or court could be in your favor. For others of you, this is taking care of your personal responsibilities and getting your priorities in order. You should feel fairly accomplished. Um, you could feel more sure of your direction in life. You can be more sober and practical regarding religious or philosophical matters more than usual. It is often a time of financial stability, conservative financial management. Relationships with superiors should be good. Elders may provide good financial advice this week. Your financial situation can be changing for the better. The semi-squaring with Lilith Moon in the South Node in the 8th and ninth house. I would be careful with this energy. You could be accused of doing something that you're not you may have to prove your paperwork at this time this could be an audit or you could be investigator or accused of doing something that you're not doing at this time and you have to prove your you have to prove things for some of you this could be like going through a divorce and they want to look at your financial records with this energy or they, this is you going through court and they want all your proof you could be going through some kind of audit with this energy and they want to see your documentations at this time okay so those in authority don't really trust you or are suspicious of you with this energy here. Then we have Poseidon, again, opposing, forming a T-square with your fourth house, your seventh house, and your tenth house this week um, with this energy. So for some of you, you could be fighting with your with your um, spouse or soon-to-be spouse with this energy because Venus is not well-aspected, okay? Um, but Volcanus is forming a kite energy. This could be a start of an affair for some of you. Relationships um, or codependencies are common and lack proper boundary. You, and I would be careful with this energy because you can find like you'll be broke by the end of the week because this person. You see what you want to see when it comes to certain relationships in your life at this time. Those of you in your 50s could be emotionally confused at this time um, in regards to love relationships, especially in regards to your marriage with this energy. If you've been 
materialistic, overwhelmed, and closed-minded. Things will be confusing. Events may not go as planned, and you may pursue useless fantasies. This is because you're exposed to higher dimensions now. If you don't believe in metaphysics, you will. It's important to be prepared and understanding to either end in confusion or enlightenment. Um, you may have important talks with your mate about serious or long-range issues. It is a good time for contracts to be agreed upon. Uh, it's likely the terms are clear. This can be growth happening with your career. You can be um, moved somewhere else at work, a job transfer, or not work the same shift as certain people that you don't like. The North Node in Aries is in your third house is forming a yod with your 10th and 8th house. This is potential energy on the 7th you could tap into. This could be going um, this could be going um, in a situation where you know how to fix something, but at the same time, like computers, for example, and stuff like that, because you had the same problems in previous jobs. But at the same time, they don't pay you enough for that. So, and on top of that, if you do do that, you know that you're going to become tech support, and then you're not going to get the same pay, or you're not going to get paid more for what you're doing, or you have an opportunity to teach a class and stuff like that, but at the same time, you're not going to get paid more for doing it so you're like no you know so at this time you know your worth and value so you kind of stay out of the situation and you're not going to help the situation where you want to help and then it's kind of like what's in it for me kind of attitude so you're not so quick to communicate what you know in your knowledge because you're not getting paid for it and you know that you don't want to be responsible or that person that they go to for every time something happens it could be a situation where you want people they want you to train people and it's like an opportunity to grow, but at the same time, the pay stays the same. Dramatic and unexpected changes to work settings will cause you to feel insecure. You may go to extremes trying to avoid responsibilities with your um, work or spiritual calling. This is an ideal time to step aside and give yourself some time to work through your insecurities and self-doubts. Then Friday, this is a time for negotiations. You can be reevaluating your decisions. You may feel like like you you get the short end of the stick with this energy so be careful what you say yes to for some of you this can be receiving good news a positive time for business picking up your daily routine may become a little stale but it has a tendency to run smoothly with few disruptions some people may feel bored with this energy it is a good time to study and intellectual disciplines it is a good time for financial stability Relationships with superiors should be good with this energy. Often this is a time where your office settles into a steady routine. It is an excellent time to begin a diet or exercise regime. Relationships with coworkers may expand beyond the workplace and become more personal, a time for improved health, healing if you've been suffering from illnesses. Alrighty, let's see what the cards say. The first card to come up with, um, I feel like you're more about your play. You could be more about your children at this time and making sure that your children have everything that they need with this energy here. <coughs> Or just throwing yourself into your kids. For others of you, I feel like you could be more in tune to your inner child. The Five of Cups, this is dealing with shoulda, woulda, couldas, regrets, what ifs with this energy as well. The King of Cups, I feel like you can be a stickler for the rules with this energy here. You may not be as relaxed as you want to be at this time because you want everything to run your way. So expect wrenches to be thrown in your way at this time with this energy and watch your emotional self try not to get snappy at other people the queen of wands i feel like someone in your life could be really creating boundaries with you at this time about what you can and cannot do with this person here as well so somebody is like really you know you could be dealing with like a divorce at this time or you could be dating somebody with this energy and they could be like telling you what you can and cannot do with them with this energy or they could be like I will text message you and that's it and just don't call me on this phone you know so this could be like an affair or this person could just be dating other people and letting you know that by the way FYI I'm dating other people so you know I'm not just dating you alrighty so it could be something like that it could be like a sexual relationship, could be like a sexual relationship as well that you're having with somebody um, 
at this time. Um, the Eight of Coins, I feel for some of you here, you could be more focused on career. This could also be dealing with obsessive thinking with this energy. The Five of Wands, I feel for some of you, this could be on the job training or this could be arguments. So whatever is bothering you is going to come to light. For some of you, you could be learning from your past mistakes and doing things a little bit differently, especially when it comes to communicating with certain people in your life. You could be walking on eggshells with them or you could be more about their needs, wants, and desires and kind of like creating that balance with that relationship and trying to make it work. The Three of Cups, you tend to be more about your social life or you tend to be more about other people in your life. Lots of communications going on around you this week with this energy. I feel like somebody in your life could also be jealous of you at this time as well and acting like really weird around you so i'd be careful with that person um as well i feel like somebody you know there could be unnecessary drama what you thought was like healthy um competition can turn out to be like this nasty little thing with this energy um I feel like this could be you striving for achievements at this time. I feel like you can have a solid circle of friends that you can use their support to help you face any obstacles. I feel like there could be celebrating your success at this time. The Ace of Cups, I do see emotional validation coming up at this time for you with this energy. The Devil card talks of endings. You could be dealing with a dominating person or you could be dealing with somebody that has an alcohol problem or a drug problem at this time or you could be dealing with an individual that is in a place of power with this energy um, as well, okay? So this person could be like kind of dominating your situation or really calling the shots at this time or just like a real stickler for the rules and kind of like wanting things to be their way with this energy. I feel like this person's pretty dramatic as well or exaggerates things with this energy so is what i'm picking up you know so they tend to be a little bit of an exaggerator when they get mad and start flopping around like a fish is what i'm picking up i don't know why i saw that pluto energy change is happening so certain things may no longer apply in your life at this time with this energy so this could be whoever whatever has to leave your life let them leave your life during this time period as well certain foundations could be breaking up at this time as well or not working out for you with this energy okay um i feel for some of you here the page of cups for some of you you could be dealing with somebody that's in a position of power with this energy you could also be the teacher's pet at this time i feel like for some of you here you could be receiving a message of love so somebody could be trying to ask you out on a date with this energy here or letting you know that they're interested in you and been interested in you for a while, I feel, with this energy. The Eight of Wands, I see traveling and good news coming up for you. I feel for some of you, you could be obsessed with somebody. Or this could be like addicted to traveling at this time and finding any excuse to like go and travel or like basically you don't want to be home at this time with this energy. So you find any excuse to be away from home with this energy as well. So for some of you, if you're having a difficult time with your marriage with this energy and you kind of have like one foot in the door and one foot out the door is what I'm picking up, you could also be finding excuses to stay away from home okay so you could be like finding excuses to like visit family and take care of family members at this time with this energy here as well um i feel also with this energy here that this is dealing with obsessions greed overindulgence at this time all right um i feel like not, I feel like you need to get a second opinion with this energy or you need to have conversations with certain people because I feel like you're trying to gain control over a situation at this time with this energy, okay? The Hierophant card talks of a divorce happening, endings coming up for you as well with this energy, all right? I feel like you could be dealing with separation and loss at this time or somebody could be quitting their job that you like. Um, for some of you, this could be a hobby turning into a, turning into a business at this time, so I do see business growth coming up for you the king of wands i feel for some of you here that you are revolutionary in your way of thinking i feel like you're working smarter not harder at this time you could also be dealing with somebody that's like very dominating and stuck in their ways of thinking with this energy the nine of coins for some of you this could be a move happening this could be traveling coming up with this energy for others of you this could be dealing with property 
all right and this could be dealing with investment properties as well or purchasing an investment property the six of coins working on getting a loan trying to move um with this energy for some of you the six of cups you could be trying to relocate back to some place where you used to live with this energy here as well so you could be working on getting um, property in a different state or country for some of you here the focus could be on siblings you could be end up staying with your sibling with this energy here um, for a while while you figure out your life or get back on your feet with this energy as well Alrighty, I feel for some of you here, this is a great time for those of you in media or social media, or you could be linking up with a social media expert that can help you with your business and promote your business. The five of coins have faith that everything is going to work itself out. You're very ambitious at this time. This can be a very busy week for you, and you could be delving into self-pity because like work at home, work at home, work at home. The two of coins burning the candles at both ends of the stick at this time with this energy as well. So this could be a very busy week for you. With with this energy the um, revelations cards for some of you you're definitely going on a spiritual journey this is also a spiritual transformation and I feel like three are challenges that are going to be really big at this time that it could bring profound changes within you so this could be like your epiphanies your aha moments it's time to let go of certain situations in your life energy or at least there has to be some kind of change happening with this energy for some of you you could be budgeting going back to school with ed this energy for some of you, you may have outgrown your career with this energy as well and you could be over it and you could be looking for a new job or wanting to go somewhere else for others of you you could be volunteering your time and energy and doing youth work with this energy or spending more time like doing the volunteer thing at school with your kids for some of you you're focusing on more about your financial freedom at this time and wanting more financial freedom with this energy the ace of coins creating your own reality delving into certainty for some of you you could be moving in with somebody with this energy as well the four of coins for some of you here yeah you're more about your financial stability at this time with this energy and trying to be more financially um, self-reliant so you're not reliant on your partner with this energy here I do see money worries here as well with this energy so watch your spending something of sentimental value could be given to you at this time with this energy the knight of cups blessings onto the universe for you this week with this energy um the justice card for some of you definitely emphasis on endings coming up that's going to feel like a divorce for some of you this could be dealing with your partner who you're divorced from and the focus can be on them at this time with this energy here or the folk you two can have like some kind of interaction this week with each other Okay, for others of you, this could be getting a divorce at this time or some kind of ending coming up with this energy. Um, for some of you here, I feel like there's something about cross purposes on your purpose driven journey at this time. So I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I do see a private school or a financial institution um, is focusing, protecting your assets at this time. For some of you, I'd be careful because somebody could be trying to sue you or trying to take away your business card at this time with this energy so I feel like you may be going to court for that for some of you this could be endings happening and you can have a nasty falling out with somebody with this energy here it does not necessarily have to be a love interest you could have a nasty falling out with somebody I feel like you could be dealing with court for some of you, you could be getting money that is owed to you okay you can be getting compensated so this could be dealing with homeowners insurance um I feel like for some of you here I feel like you must hold back on your spending at this time and be careful with frivolous spending with this energy and giving yourself little rewards or treating yourself at this time because you can't afford it at this time with this energy i feel like um you may be asking people for money or asking people for financial help at this time with this energy so just be careful with your spending at this time um at this time because i see like frivolous spending with this energy the seven of swords for some of you you could be working on yourself you could be leaving a toxic relationship at this time for some of you this could be like a confusing time with you you could be dealing with somebody that has a drug issue and their perspective um on life could be confusing or it could be a situation where where you are fighting with somebody 
and everybody's pr everybody got their own you know I got my truth you got your truth and then in the middle is God's truth I feel like you're going to be leaving a group or organization and then right after that you're going to receive a lot of blessings or sparks of miracles expect the unexpected this week with this energy as well or within the next two weeks with this energy you could see some unexpected happenings happening around you all right. I love you, my airbenders. Show your love and support to your girl, Marie, by liking, subscribing, and sharing. Kisses.